Okay, I'd like to show you something that no one has ever seen before, and I truly mean that. We're using continuous fiber optic ring light here. Let me uh, explain something to you at the end of this video. I'm just using this as a mask so the light doesn't shoot directly into your eyes and the camera. And I'm placing the synodymium on top. And let me raise everything up here a little bit. There we go. position the camera correctly and if we look down here we go if I look directly down too trying to use the camera you'll actually see two bumps on either quote-unquote pole you'll see a bump there you see the black bump or hill black bump or hill over here and Another black bump or hill, doesn't matter what you want to call it. Hold on a second, let me reposition the magnet. There we go. There we go. It's easier to do this if I had like four hands. There you go. No one has ever seen this before. Also too, since I'm using a continuous fiber optic lighting instead of LED lighting, the complaint that people had, the magnet wants to shift because that part is so magnetic on the ring light, people had complained about the uh, LED lighting on the uh, ferro cells because they were countable, so you could actually count the lines of, uh, they say, well, the pattern that you're actually seeing in the ferro cell is contributable to the uh, LED lights uh, in the uh, ferro cell. Now this ferro cell is, uh, as you can see here, is unattached. There is there is an LED ring light inside this ferro cell, but there is no power to it. So I take the magnet off here, take this away, you can see there's absolutely no lighting here. What I have is a continuous LED ring lighting. And then I'm placing this on top. I'm just using this for a mask. I'm placing that over top. And then placing the magnet back. And I'm lifting off a little bit so enough light could actually penetrate the ferro cell. The only light the ferro cell is receiving is from a fiber optic continuous. So there are no individual lights. It is a continuous, uninterrupted pure stream of real light and no one has ever seen this before no one has ever combined the ferro cell with continuous led lighting like this and the ferro cell image is still exactly the same the only difference is, is instead of lines we actually have an uninterrupted array showing the magnetic field but also in addition to that the reason why we actually have two black bumps on either quote-unquote pole here it's hard to do this with two hands. Hold on a second, let me reposition the magnet. There we go. The reason why we actually have two bumps on either pole right there, you see the black bump, and the black bump is that the light will disappear at the centripetal point of either quote-unquote pole. There can be no light there because it has vanished. It is a event horizon, for lack of a better term. It's actually a point of centripetal convergence where no light can exist. So all those people that all these months have been telling me, oh, well, you know, the reason you get that pattern in the ferro cell is because, you know, you can count the number of LED ring lights, number of LED lights in the ferro cell, and then you can also count those same number of lines in the uh, pattern of the ferro cell. But here we don't have individual lights, but we still have the exact same pattern, except more detail, and we actually have another thing, as I would uh, predict was mildly visible, but not really, is the disappearance of the uh, light at the point of centripetal convergence on either pole. Of course, the magnet doesn't have poles, it just has the force vectors of centripetal divergence. But that's the reason why the light exists you see there on this ridge, the reason why you see the light there at the top, but underneath that hill or bump is completely black. Let me actually hit focus. Underneath that hill is completely black, but right at the ridge, we actually have the light appearing. That's the point of uh, centrifugal divergence. So this is something that's never been seen or recorded before. But also, too, we can actually see the ferro cell acting without any ring light. And I mean, no uh, LED lighting, excuse me, no LED lighting, because this is off. There is no, there is no light in this. <laughs> it's, it's not even hooked up. The LED lighting is from 
a simple flashlight. Oh, there you saw it, folks. All those people that told me it wouldn't uh, appear without the uh, individual spots of the LEDs in the uh, ferro cell, well, you're, you're wrong. Let me take this off and I'll show you what they're talking about. I'm going to take this right off here. You can actually see the LED lights right there, but they're not on. The unit's not hooked up. So I'm actually clearly shining it just through the ferro cell itself. Thank you so much for watching. If you like these videos, you'd always uh, drop a buck or two in the uh, link below. Tell me to jump off a cliff, whatever makes you happy. But all those people that uh, told me I was wrong, well, you have now been proven wrong. Thank you. Bye.